Hi everyone, welcome to the CPAP store. My name is Tristan and today we're going to be looking at the Evora Full Face Mask by Fisher & Paykel. Now this is an interesting full face mask uh, just with the design overall. It doesn't really look like anything from uh, ResMed or Philips. I think Fisher & Paykel definitely go their own way with their own research with how they want to build masks and it's pretty evident to see that it kind of stands out amongst many other masks. Right now mounted on the mask I have the extra small cushion. The fit pack also comes with the medium and the large cushion as well. Actually a little bit of a side note here. The small is actually considered an extra small the small medium is the middle option and the large is the largest option. Not sure why they went that way, but they did. Um, I've measured my nose. I'm usually a small and with this, it's no different. I am an extra small. So I have the extra small here. So when I try it on, you can see it on me, but right now we have it on buddy guy here. As you can see, it's a soft material wrapping around the back. On the back, we have this mesh material. It's a uh, supposed to keep you cooler at the back of the neck. Not sure how well that works if you were lying on your back with a pillow. I don't really think a slight change in material is gonna do all that much, but it does have some perforation, so it might uh, prevent some of the sweat that you might get at the back of the neck. On the front here, we have this Velcro soft material, um, and we can just take this off. And as you can see, there's like a few different variations of sizing. I'm not sure if you can see that, it's kind of hard to get off, but there's a few different variations of sizing right there. Um, I think it probably would have worked without that, but with it, you can kind of memorize which is yours, like say you're in the middle, and then so if you're washing it and taking it apart um, while washing it just to get every little groove, you can put it back to the exact same spot so you know it's the, the same spot and you're gonna sleep in the same way. So it's nice that they added those grooves there. At the front, or at the side rather, we have two more straps here where we can address the tightness. And we have clips on the bottom that you can take off just to take off the mask every day so you're not adjusting those Velcro every day. Okay, so we have quite a few adjustment points with this mask. Uh, some full face masks just have, you know, the four points on the side. This one has that additional top, which is a nice added feature. Now at the front of the mask here, you can see that the tube goes straight down. That does add to a bit of a more low profile design. So an interesting uh, design there. However, we don't have um, like an elbow that swivels um, and turns and spins. It's like just this right here. Even this portion here doesn't swivel. It's, a, it's an oval shape and once it clicks in, it's solid. So it's kind of unfortunate that it doesn't have an elbow that swivels, but that's how they went. It's a little more low profile, so you give and take it a little bit there. We have kind of the bridge where everything straps onto with the Fisher & Paykel logo there. And then we have the tube going onto our ResMed AirSense 11. And this tube just kind of breaks apart and you put it back like that. So very simple. Now that we've looked at the mask, I'm gonna tell you kind of what I think of it. So the back is pretty good, pretty secure. I like that. This front part here, I feel like could have been edged up slightly. Um, I feel that on the well, on the mannequin, if I just push it down, as you can see, it kind of flops down. And I feel kind of the same way when it's on my head. I feel like they have a lot of points strapping it to the back of the head, but not so much you know, at the front. You'll see other masks like, for example, now a Dream World mask, this being a hollow frame mask, is gonna be quite a bit different in terms of fitment. But the frame here sits quite at the front of your head. So you kind of have a yin and yang, an opposite tugging approach to make a nice secure fit, both on the back of the neck and the top of the head. Whereas here, I feel like it's a little far back um, so it can slip or it just feels like it could be more secure. That being said, it's still a very secure mask. I think it just could be tweaked a little bit better there. Now on the front, I'm a little bit disappointed on the overall usability that they added to this mask. Um, for example, the front uh, has these clips and if we pull them out, they're fairly easy and to put back in, again, fairly easy, but again, nowhere near as easy as magnets. Like, look at this, this is on the Dreamwear mask. How easy is that? Um, here we have the F20 by ResMed. Magnet again, I know everyone probably knows how magnets work, but I'll demonstrate. How easy is that? This guy, if I do the same thing, not gonna work, right? So people with dexterity issues, arthritis, um, people who don't have a mirror in front of them at their bedside, it, it's, it's like an unnecessary 
inconvenience when it comes to CPAP masks. A lot of CPAP masks have the magnets now. Not sure why they don't yet. Hopefully they will in the future. Um, on the front here, again, they don't really have a quick release. With a ResMed mask, for example, the F20 again, swivel, moves like this, swivels like this, very nice. Oh, you need to go to the washroom? You need to go take a poop in the middle of the night? How easy is that, right? You don't have to bring the whole CPAP machine with you. But with the Evora, nothing there. So it's a little bit inconvenient. Um, if you have to go to the washroom, you're either taking off the clips that you're gonna have to put on back in the dark. Not really a great option there. Uh, this guy, you can kind of take it off, but I'll show you when I actually have it on. This is actually a lot harder to do when it's on. Uh, as you can see, okay? And this guy obviously is, you know, you don't really want this dangling if you're going to the washroom. So with the usability of this mask, I think things could be improved to say the least. Now, let's talk about CPAP in general. Does it do what it needs to do? Is it a good mask? Well, I do believe that it does seal very well. With a full face mask, people may think that the option to have it sealing, sealing around the face is actually a lot better because you're you know, just gripping the side of the face. However, um, that is a lot more face that you're trying to seal. And since everyone's face is different, but everyone's mask, you know, there's like a million different people, but only five, six different full face masks, different masks are gonna work differently for everyone. And so some people may find that this mask works really well, and some people may find that this mask leaks and sucks. For me, I find that it doesn't leak very often. It's actually very secure. Um, and also when I'm sleeping on my side or kind of my front, that the profile design of this mask kind of going a little bit more forwards, a little more jetting out, actually allows my face to be kind of smushed into a pillow without it digging into the side of my face. In contrast, we have, for example, uh, the Dreamwear full face mask. And this, as you can see, is a little bit, a little bit wider where the plastic goes, like it's roughly the same, these are both largest, but um, where the hard plastic goes, it's a little bit wider, okay? And what I do find is when I'm kind of digging my head into the pillow, which probably I shouldn't be smashing my head into a pillow, but if I am tilted that way, the top portion does dig into my cheek. And I don't find that with the uh, Evora. So if you've had the Dreamwear mask and you find that problem, you might have a similar head to mine, you might wanna try the Evora because it doesn't dig into your face. Um, so that's about it for now. I'm gonna take this off, buddy guy, and put it on my face and we'll see how it looks. So let's get started. All right, so I don't know. See, you can see how magnets would be easier in this scenario. Because I don't have a mirror on set. Okay. As you can see, if the pillow is here, it kind of goes forward rather than being wide and hitting the side of my face. You can kind of see. Fits pretty well. So you can kind of see, I don't know if you could hear me, but it fits pretty well. It's very like secure on the face, on the head despite my grips being it being a little further back. Um, overall, it is a very secure mask. And I think in terms of doing the CPAP, getting the you know air into your lungs, it does a really good job. Just the ergonomics of it you know, outside of the bed could be a little bit better. So if you're someone who goes to bed, sleeps, lights out, wakes up in the morning, takes it off, this could be a really good mask for you if you've tried other masks and you haven't liked them. But if you're someone who wakes up to go pee in the middle of the night, might have bladder issues, might have dexterity issues, um, those types of things. I wouldn't say that you can't use this mask, but I don't think it would be your first choice. Definitely not your first choice if you're buying it online and you've never tried a mask before. Uh, I definitely go with something with magnets and a little more ergonomic usability. Now piggybacking off of ergonomic usability, let's do a little breakdown here. To take off the tubing here, uh, don't just yank it, don't just pull it. You're gonna break it off kind of like you're breaking bread. Okay, now this is an oval shape, so it doesn't go on just any way you want. You do have to make sure that it's going on the correct way, just like that. So just like that, you're breaking it off. And kind of like I mentioned before, when you're cleaning this thing, that's not that hard. But when you're trying to do that motion at, at night, 
it's not the easiest. So I would have liked to see little tabs with a quick release there, but it is what it is. That's that. Now the next portion here to separate the mask from the cushion, you're gonna hold down where this plastic portion here is, uh, where the exhalation ports are, and you're just gonna break it apart, okay? It comes off like that. And as you can see, the exhalation ports are on the side. It's not like at the top, like in a single hole. There are different perforations there. So your exhalation air uh, should be kind of diffusing a little bit, which is good. You don't wanna be you know, shooting your partner in the face with a single jet stream of air. Can get rather annoying. So we do have props for that. Putting it back on, just the opposite. Kind of put it back together, pop it on quite easy. And then putting that guy on there. So. Overall, the breakdown is pretty simple. Um, it's not like you're doing that every day. You know, you're obviously doing it once a week when you're cleaning, but it's pretty simple nevertheless. Now, the last point I wanna talk about with the Evora is something that I mentioned in most of our CPAP reviews, and that's where the tube connects to the machine. Okay, so a lot of CPAP users, or I, I should say people who are new to CPAP, um, might be wondering this. And I know I was when I first you know, heard about CPAP and I was understanding what CPAP was. I had no clue why some masks look so much different than the others. And that's mainly where the hose is or the tube is. With the tube at the front, you're gonna have the positive of not hearing the air rush on the side of your face. Okay, so that's good. When you have uh, something like the Dreamwear mask, like this, a lot of air is gonna be rushing through the side where your ear is, like right beside your ear. It's not gonna be super loud, but the vibration and right beside your like eardrum, you can hear it. Whereas this one, you're not gonna hear as much. That being said, if you're tossing and turning at night, being on the front of your face, you know, there's gonna be more tube drag. It can wrap around, you know, art your arm and stuff like that. Cause every time you turn, it's getting in the way. Whereas when you do have the tube and the elbow at the front of the head, like up here, for example, and it's usually on a swivel, um, when you're turning your head, uh, it doesn't get in the way. It doesn't wrap around you. So that might be something that you might want to consider when you're buying a full face mask or any you know, new CPAP mask. Are you more susceptible to be annoyed by the tube drag or are you gonna be more annoyed by hearing the noise rush past your ear? Now that concludes the review of the Evora full face mask. Be sure to do your due diligence, looking at reviews, looking at YouTube comments to see you know, whether this mask might be good for you. Everyone has a different head shape. Everyone um, has a different sleeping style. So you might want to look into those comments. Um, overall, we do like the mask. I think it's a really great solid secure mask with minimal leakage and, and quite good comfort. It's not pressing in the side of my face. However, I think ergonomic usability could have been improved a little bit with this mask. That's it for this review. Make sure to like this video and subscribe.